Welcome back to eSim Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. Now today we are going to do a um, app review of one of my uh, favorite apps. I use it all the time. Uh, now this app has been around since 2010. So it's a what a 14 year old application. All right, it's tested. Um, it's been very reliable for many people, including myself. Um, as uh, as you can tell, the developer is Open Signal. They actually put out a report, and we included it in our daily tech news just the other day, stating that T-Mobile was the very best uh, wireless network or service provider here in the United States as far as speed, reliability, and overall network performance. So this app is perfect for, and they got a number of new features they've added over the years, but that I don't really use. But their main service that they use, and it's free, but the main service that they have, um, they offer, they offer uh, is to see how well each network service is in and around your area. Wherever you live, wherever you work, you'll be able to tell who has the best service so you'll be able to make a choice in regards to who you want to go with. So I un I already had it installed, but I uninstalled it for everybody here, so we can just run through the uh, run through the whole thing, right? So the I I am a beta tester for this application. You can enroll in the beta program if you want to, and if not, no big deal. Um, basically, this app is a Network coverage map, internet and Wi-Fi signal, video streaming, speed test as well. Um, I'll link this application in the video description. But let's go ahead and install it. Let's go ahead and open it up here. I'm going to go ahead and give full permissions. It's up to you if you want to or not, or who, what, what you want to allow and not allow. But just to give you an example of what this application does, I'm just going to say yes, yes, yes on everything. Which I normally don't do, but we'll do it for the app review. When I'm done with the video, I will revoke some permissions. But it's up to everybody what you want to do. Now, when you get to the home screen... Um, it'll, I'm on Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm on a uh, network as well, Google Fi. However, on this home screen here at the bottom, you have your menu. You can test your internet, whether you're on Wi-Fi, whether you're on data and you're out of the house away from Wi-Fi. You can test the network your device is on. So you can do a simple speed test like this. It'll test it. It'll take a few seconds and... Uh, download speed 180 megabytes per second, upload speed 170 megabytes per second. <clears throat> and every now and then it'll ask you, I test it indoors. Now, you video test, it basically does the same thing. Um, you know, I, I don't ever use this because it's, I already know what my speeds are and I'm aware of it without having to run this test. I'm just doing it here for an example that you may want to run this before you watch a video at home, a movie, what have you. So it'll give you, um, you know, playback, um, I guess, performance, right? I guess 100% is good. So we're right up there. But <clears throat> let's go back. So um, let's go to the settings real quick. So here's the settings. You can opt in for them uh, to collect data on you, which I typically have off, but for this video, we'll turn on. Now look at this. Readings per day. <clears throat> 100 readings per day. I damn near got choked up. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's one thing I don't like about this. However, you can turn it off, right? You can turn this off. Plus, that'll drain your battery. You know, they they here's what they do. Readings per day. What is it reading? Well, if you're out and about, let's say you go run some errands, right? So it's testing your network in the background. Uh, even when your phone is off, or not off, but when your screen is off, it's on the, let's say you're driving to the grocery store or going to the movies. 
your phone is on the uh, 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 on the um, seat, the passenger seat, right? Because you're you're driving, and the screen, your phone is on, but the screen is off. Um, it'll if you give it permissions, like I did here, it will test your network in the background to see how fast it is wherever you go, or I guess randomly a hundred times a day, whether you're at home, you go to the grocery store, you're at the movies, whatever, and that's how they collect these speed tests in the background. And then every year they put out a report saying here's the best networks of, I think it's at the end of every year because uh, we just reported on it. So T-Mobile was the best network of um, uh, to, for 2023, right, going into 2024. But right, let's see if you can change this. I guess it's just on or off, right, just an on or off switch. Now it does drain some batteries in the, in, in the background. I typically have, or not typically, I always have it turned off. <clears throat> Um, they have theme, colorblind coverage maps, I don't know, um, I'm not colorblind, notifications, what types of notifications do you want up top, let's clear all these, and did I clear them, yep, now you can have one for, it'll, it'll notify you when you lose a signal, or notify you when you gain signal, and then you can also set it, get notified when your signal goes below this level or, uh, uh, and in parentheses, a higher threshold means more notifications. And then you can go down here for um, legal information and all that crap, but I typically have this turned off. So um, eh, I'll leave it on right now just for the, just for the uh, review. Okay, so now... We will go to the second menu is your service. The stats for your data, not your Wi-Fi, for your data from your mobile carrier. Your network availability, they'll tell you um, it's your network is available 100% of the time. Now, mine's on 4G. Um, I wonder if I have 5G activated or not. Yep, I do. So the area we're in is actually really bad for T-Mobile, or actually for all of them. We've tried AT&T, we've tried Verizon, we've tried T-Mobile, Mint Mobile, Google Fi. All of them fall under the three big carriers, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. So if you have Mint Mobile, it's going to fall under the T-Mobile coverage. We'll get in that here in a minute, but let's go back to here. So it's telling me you've had 4G 100% of the time, all right? Basically, and then if it toggles between 4G and 5G, wherever you're at, it'll give you the percentage of how um, how often your phone is on either 4G or 5G. And then up here, you can go back to uh, data usage, cell versus Wi-Fi, and then you can go switch between from today, yesterday, past week, this month, all time. Same thing with network availability, today, yesterday, past week, this month all time so let's move over to the fun part this i don't use these two at all let's move over to what i do use is the map right let's get to the cool stuff right this is what this app is made for so <clears throat> let's uh learn how yeah 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 so what this is this is the main part of the app, right? These first two options, and yeah, they're cool. They're the features I told you that they added over the years that I don't really use. This is the main feature. This is the one that launched with the application, and this is the this is the cool stuff. This is where you can find towers, where your nearest to cell tower is. Um, this is where you can test and check the services between um, all of the different networks, right? So you see the green spots all around here. It's basically service now. Um, what service is it, right? Now look, if you zoom in, let's let's do this. I need to add. So up here, all operators for 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Let's say, now remember, um, 
say, hey, well, Mint Mobile's not on there, or Cricket's not on there, or Metro PCS is not on there, or Visible's not on there. Well, you have to figure out, and Google is your best friend when it comes to the, this type of information. Visible's under Verizon, Metro's under T-Mobile, Mint Mobile's under T-Mobile, Cricket's under AT&T, um, right? You can find this stuff out on, on, on Google, right? If you have certain MVNO or certain carrier you're looking for, say it's Mint Mobile. <clears throat> Search uh, uh, what towers does Mint Mobile use, and it'll say T-Mobile. So you're simply, whatever your, the, the, your service provider parent company is, whether it's AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, you basically, you can show all of them. Or if you just want to go T-Mobile, you can select T-Mobile. And if you want to uh, do eight, I guess you could do one at, one at a time. And you can also toggle the different, nobody uses that anymore, you can toggle the different um, uh, frequencies, networks. If you want to check out just 5G strength, turn off the 4G. So we're at T-Mobile, we're on 5G. <clears throat> Let's see what it says. Now, up here, it'll show you. For certain view network stats. So remember how I told you they compile when they test your a phone in the back and you test your, your network in the background a hundred times a day? That's where they get all this information from, right? That's where they compile all the information and then they throw it on this map of, of everybody who has this application installed on their phone and has that option uh, enabled where it, it reads your phone <coughs> uh, about a hundred times a day. Let's zoom out a little bit. So this is what it's basically showing here. We're in South Texas, right? So you can tell. Now this is T-Mobile 5G coverage. So you can either zoom in, zoom out, wherever you live, wherever you work, wherever you want to test your area. Um... It's nice to test. Now, when you get out here in the country or down here in the oil fields, uh, where it's pretty pretty vast and barren and there's nobody around, uh, you're not going to get 5G coverage. Watch. AT I used to work down there. AT&T, you get 5G coverage all over the place, even in the oil field. Is it going to show it? Not really. As you can tell, AT&T is a little... Uh, bear, uh, they're missing, they're a little spotty down here. Verizon, a little spotty around town. T-Mobile was uh, very, very, see how well T-Mobile covers this area, except right where my house is. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's say, I guess you can pinpoint a part on the map, and it'll give you the general readings uh, uh, of what their tests have been. So you can play around with it. It's fun to... Uh... Can you look up a... Let's go to Seattle... So there's Seattle. Gives you the relative uh, service. I used to be able to zoom in farther. Huh. Now, all these little green dots is where they've taken... Re Sorry, I'm like, my face is in the screen. Um, all these little dots is where they've taken readings uh, on users' devices. And tested their network. <clears throat> Let's show all 5G. So you can get a, a general sense of how the service is in your area or wherever you work or wherever you're traveling. You don't know. You know what? I wonder, do they do out of the country? Let's see. Let's go to, I would need to activate 4G as well. And sure do. Look, down in Mexico. Let's go to St. Thomas. I used to live in the Caribbean. Let's see if they show St. They should. Puerto Rico is part of the United States. Yep. 
So let's say you're going down to Puerto Rico for a trip or you go down to uh, St. Thomas, right? You're going down to St. Thomas on a vacation. Well, check it out. You can go down to Charlotte O'Malley, the capital of St. Thomas, and um, basically check testing the operators, right? Why is it not showing the mobile networks? It's giving me there because they got T-Mobile in the St. Thomas. I wanted to check T-Mobile. First net, Claro. Yep, they got Claro down there. So Okay, so it just takes a while for the... Uh, for their information to refresh if you switch countries or jump to another country because Claro and FirstNet were not in the United or the continental United States. When you go down to the Caribbean, Claro is available down there as well. So it, it just takes a while for, for them to, to populate the different carriers. So you can, if you're going on vacation, you're going to stay at a resort in San Juan, you can test how AT&T is, right? You can test how T-Mobile is down there, right? So very, very cool stuff. Now let's jump over another really cool feature that I, I like to use on here is their towers. Their tower network. So what we will do, and you can check out all the towers in and around you. Let's go to Alamo Heights. Okay, so if you switch over down here, to this bottom right where the arrow is. Now, what this will do, <clears throat> follow the arrow. So the tower, not necessarily the closest tower to you, but this is the tower your device is connected to, the T-Mobile tower. Each T-Mobile tower has like a serial number, right? Every phone has a serial number, right? So in the network and the carrier services, um, your device knows what tower it's connected to and vice versa. Your tower knows what phone it's connected to and where it's at. Both have GPS. Your phone has GPS. The towers have GPS. They're all linked together, right? So this is cool. It'll tell you not only what tower you're connected to and where it's located, and I know exactly which one it's located. Uh, I know exactly where it's at. But watch this. You can get a map of all the towers around you. Boom. Right there. So... That's the tower I'm connected to right there, right? And those are the towers all around me. We either jump from this one to this one. We're in like a little valley. Um, so it's either this one or this one. Uh, but so if let's just say you can zoom in on a T-Mobile tower. <clears throat> I'm not connected to that one, am I? No. Okay, so you can zoom in on a tower, all right? And you can basically touch the tower the icon, and then it gives you the tower information. So it gets you the cell ID number, and it gets you the serial number, or their, I guess it's like the FCC uh, tower, whatever, number. Um, based on... Based on controlled signal readings, okay? So that's pretty cool, right? <clears throat> so at least you know where it's at, where it's located. And then here it gives you a list. So you can either go to a map view uh, like we were at before or you can touch that icon up here or you can go to the list view and it gives you the, I'm assuming, the three towers that are right around me. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry. So you can't necessarily switch towers, um, but uh, it just gives you the info, right? So that is a very, very neat feature. There's the list, and then you can hit this down here, and it will zoom in back on you if you get too far off the map. But uh, I got to go. I have a uh, phone call I got to take. But that's this is the app review of the Open Signal application. Check it out. Very cool. And let me know in the comments if you got any questions whatsoever. Uh, feel free to ask. I check them every day, and I'm, I'm more than happy to answer them. Peace out.